Welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. For this video, I'm going to be doing an encapsulated flower design. So I'm going to be using the Fumi Beauty method or the Lazy Girl method. So I'm going to be using some poly gel along with the dried flowers. I'm starting off with some peel off base coat because I don't plan on wearing these nails for long. But if you did want your nails to last for about two to three weeks, then you would want to go in and prep your natural nails. And you can do that by lightly filing the shine off of your natural nail and then going in with some dehydrator and primer. I'm going to leave a link in the description box to the dehydrator and primer that I typically use from the brand Mia Secret. But for me, I'm just going to be going in with this peel off base coat. These are the dried flowers that I'm using and they're from a McCart poly gel kit. I'm also going to be using some Vrenmal poly gel, pine poly gel, and then I'm just using some pine base coat and top coat. I'm going to be using the base coat as my slip solution. I just prefer to use that. I know some people use alcohol, but for me, the base coat gel just works the best. So I just put some inside of the nail and then I'm just taking some tweezers and just picking up some of those dried flowers and just placing it into the uncured base coat gel. Um, some of these flowers I did cut in half and just kind of broke apart just so that they would fit in the nail. But yeah, I just went in with that, cured it into place, and then now I'm going behind it with some of the Vrenmal Poly Gel. And this is the pink glitter color. It's super, super cute. So I'm just going to be going inside the full nail with this color and just smoothing it out with the base coat gel. Now I'm just taking the nail off of the nail stand and pressing it onto my nail. I'm not pressing it down too hard, but I just want to make sure the nail is straight on my finger and not crooked or anything. And then I just wiped away some of the extra. You really don't want to use your fingers to do this. It's best to use a brush, but yeah, I just wiped it away and then I just cured it in the lamp. Now I'm going on to the ring finger. So again, I'm putting base coat gel inside of the nail. I'm not curing it. I'm just going right in with the dried flowers and getting them into place where I want them. And then I'm also going to be going over it with some more base coat gel just so that I can move it around a little bit easier. And I just tried to make sure that all of the flower that was hanging over that I just kind of pressed it down into the nail. If you do have any of the dried flowers hanging over, you can always go in once you cure it and just file around the edges of the nail and just file it right off but I decided to just kind of push it down so that all of it would be inside before I get too far into the video I wanted to go ahead and do my featured comment so thank you so much for your comment on my previous video I really appreciate it Now that I have those flowers cured into place, I'm going in with this color from the Vrin Mall kit. It's like a shimmery white, and I'm just using this as my French tip color. So I just went in with some of the base coat gel as my slip solution, and then I'm just taking the brush and kind of brushing it towards the cuticle area. But I'm going to stop a little bit below where the flowers are so that I can just try to get my French tip line. So for this, I just kind of take it and move it along the sides of the nail, like kind of drag it to the side and usually it's super easy to get it um, right and then I just go in after that with a cuticle color so I'm using this nude from the pine poly gel kit I would have used the nude from the rim mall kit but for some reason I couldn't find it I think I accidentally threw it in the trash so that's why I ended up grabbing that kit so that I can just get a new most poly gel kits have this color though so it's really no big deal but yeah I just went in with that and then I'm just pressing it on and I'm just going to wipe away the extra and cure it in the lamp For the middle finger, I'm going to be doing some of a marble design behind the flowers. But first, I'm just going in again with the base coat gel and just taking some tweezers and applying the flowers. I decided to put this cute white one in the center since it's pretty large. And then I just put some of the little smaller ones around it. But once I have that in place, again, I'm just going to cure it in the lamp and then go behind it with my poly gel colors. Thank you. 
At this point, I've placed the shimmery white, the glitter color, and some of the regular white inside of the nail. And I'm just taking the spatula end of the poly gel stick and just moving it around so that it can be somewhat of a marble design. I'm then going to add some of the clear right over it. I'm not going to cure it in the lamp yet or anything. I'm going to add the clear to it, smooth it out, and then apply it to my nail. For the pointer finger, I'm going to be doing another French tip design. So I'm starting off with some of the base coats so that I can apply my dried flowers. And then once I have that in place, I'm going to be using some of the white poly gel as my French tip color. And for this nail, I don't think the French tip really turned out as nice as the other nail. It's kind of like a straight across French rather than that nice smile line. But it's no big deal because I'm going to have that flower right in the middle anyway. So you really won't be able to tell as much. But yeah, I'm just going to place the flowers in, cure it in the lamp, and then go behind it with my poly gel colors. For the thumb, I'm just going to go in with the remaining dried flowers that I already have pulled out. So I'm just putting in the base coat gel and then just taking my tweezers and placing all of the dried flowers into the nail. I'm going to cure that in the lamp and then I'm just going to go behind that with some clear poly gel. We're not doing any real design on this nail.
I decided that I wanted to add some bling to this set. So I'm going in with some clear poly gel on top of the ring finger and I'm just covering it with some top coat gel and then I'm going to go in and place my stone. This stone is a pretty big stone. It's actually from the little sew on sweater crystals that I got from AliExpress and I just took the backing off of them. I'll leave that link in the description box and then I'll also leave a haul video where I showed like how you can remove the backs from them. I'll leave that video link in the description and up in the cards um, if anyone is interested in seeing how to do that. But I just placed it on the nail and then I'm just going on to top coat all of the other nails. And I'm also going to top coat the underside of the nails just to make sure that the clear nails have a nice glass look to them. And then the other nails, I just choose to do that instead of wiping it off with some slip solution. But I'm just going to go in and do that. And that's pretty much it for this nail design. So I hope that you all enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. So that you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Bye!